Hello, this is Danny with eLearning Brothers, and today I'm going to show you uh, a little tip that you can use to help make your voiceovers sound more professional. I've done a lot of audio editing for voiceovers and narrations to be put in e-learning courses, and one of the main things that always sticks out to me is the amount of background noise that gets through into the audio clip. There's a couple of nice features in most uh, audio editing software that will help you remove that background noise and uh, make your audio clips sound more professional. Um, so that's what I'm going to be showing you how to do. My preferred software for audio editing is Adobe Audition. Uh, so I'll show you how to do it there first and then I will also show you how to remove background noise in Audacity which is a uh, free program that anyone can download. So um, in Audition, if you look here, I've got the spectral display visible, and if you get into Audition and that's not showing, then all you have to do is press this button up here. So this is kind of the default view. You just see the waveform. This is a stereo file. I recorded it in stereo. Uh, typically, voiceovers can just be mono, but this one's stereo, so I like to see the spectral display, which is a really cool feature of Audition. It gives you more visibility of, of frequencies and sounds that are going on that you normally wouldn't be able to see just in the, the waveform. So up here, this looks like it's silence, but really there are some sounds going on and frequencies going on. Um, and so that's actually the background noise that we want to get rid of. So let's listen to it. In this video, I'm going to be explaining. So if you didn't hear that noise at the beginning, Put some headphones on and I guarantee you'll hear it. That's kind of what we want to eliminate. So I'm going to show you how to do that with the noise reduction process. So there's the pesky background noise. Um, to get rid of it, all you have to do is go down in the spectral display and I'm going to select this area here. As you can see, that's where the background noise is happening. Um, and then you right click and Press Capture Noise Print, and a warning is going to come up that says the current audio selection will be captured and loaded as a noise print for use the next time the noise reduction effect is launched. And that's going to be right now, so you just press OK because we're going to run that effect. So an important thing is to deselect the selection that you've just made. Go back to Effects, Noise Reduction, Process, or the shortcut is Control-Shift-P, or Command-Shift-P if you're on a Mac. So I'm going to just put it at the default settings here, and let's hear what it does. In this video, I'm going to be... So if you listen to that beginning portion again. In this video, in this video, it's pretty much eliminated that background noise. So you can uh, mess with the settings here and kind of fine tune uh, what's going on. And actually, I'd encourage you to mess around with the settings just to see what the effect does. It's always good to, to do that. Um, you can change all of these things and kind of fine tune it. Um, but again, I'm just going to leave it at the default setting. And I'm going to deselect that. Press Control A. I'm going to press Apply. And as you can see in the spectral display, that uh, those frequencies and sounds are gone. Uh, so let's uh, hear what that sounds like now. In this video, I'm going to be explaining how to utilize the noise reduction effect in Adobe Audition and Audacity. This. So if you're wondering, this the sounds going on right here. That's me breathing. So if I was actually editing this clip, I, I might think about taking that out. Um, but right now, we're just concerned about removing the background noise. So we've successfully done that with an audition here. Uh, it's not that hard. You just have to capture the noise print and then use that effect to the, the noise reduction process. So let's head over to Audacity. I've got this same audio clip here. In this video, I'm going It's got that background noise. Now, Audacity uses the same approach. You need to capture a noise print 
for it to process. So I'm going to select these first, this first second of audio. And then you go to Effect, Noise Removal. And it says step one, select a few seconds of just noise so Audacity knows what to filter out, then click Get Noise Profile. So I'm going to do that because we have selected this noise. Now deselect it and go back to Effect, Noise Removal. We've already done step one. Again, I'm just going to leave it at the default settings here, but you can mess with this. Um, and let's preview it. In this video, I'm going to be explaining how to utilize the noise reduction effect in Adobe Audition. So it previews about five seconds, but if you hear the beginning again, it's pretty much eliminated that background noise. In this video, I'm going to... So, you just press OK to apply it to the entire clip. And let's take a listen. In this video, I'm going to be explaining how to utilize the noise reduction effect so Audacity actually does a really good job uh, removing that background noise just as Audition does. Again, I prefer Audition because of the spectral display and a little bit more control over the effect. Um, but Audacity does just as good a job. Um, so hopefully this tip has been helpful for you. Uh, I guarantee that it will make your voiceovers sound a lot better and more professional. Uh, again, this is Danny with eLearning Brothers, and good luck editing your voiceovers.